Hello everyone, we are very proud to have with us today Tony Lockett. He's the communication manager, the head of the communication unit at the European Research Council, which is a huge institution helping a lot of researchers around Europe to perform their best, eh, to develop their research at the maximum level. And he visited the ICN2 and we thought that it would be a great opportunity to have a little discussion with him about projects, ERC projects, but what's a project in general? Thank you very much for sharing some time with us. And tell our uh, listeners, our audience, what's a project for you at the ERC? Thanks, Alex. Well, first of all, it's a great pleasure being here at ICN2, and I've been super impressed. You showed me around and showed me some of the great things that your researchers here are doing. Um, and I'm very pleased that as the research, European Research Council, we're able to support some of those uh, projects. We're also very pleased about that. <laughs> it wasn't a strategic object here. Yeah. So at the European Research Council, we fund uh, excellent science across all scientific domains. Uh, so physical sciences and engineering, life sciences, but also social sciences and humanities. And um, we're really just all about scientific excellence. Uh, so when we assess research proposals, it's about the, the excellence of the scientific proposal and the excellence of the researcher himself or, or herself. It's quite generous funding, 1.5 million euros for starting grants, up to 2.5 million euros for advanced grants, and it's uh, um, over quite a long time period, uh, five years or so. So, um, you know, some of the people who get uh, ERC funding tell us that it's quite life-changing because it really helps them to either set up or establish a, re a research group and to have that comfort of having the long-term funding and being able to develop their ideas. But, but you asked me what, what, a, what is a project? One of the things that impresses me the most is the, uh, the personal commitment of uh, many of these researchers we were able to support. Um, and it's almost like um, it's a way of life more than just a job, I think uh, is perhaps the best way of describing it. Being a researcher is a full-time job. And some of the people watching this channel are thinking about becoming uh, mm. researchers themselves or starting their research career. Um, do you think they are aware that they are going to spend a lot of time working on research proposals, eh? project proposals, writing and defending uh, their vision to, to get the funds? Because I don't think they are aware of that need. They are going to be writing a lot of the time. I think, uh, I mean, we try to keep the administration as light as possible, perhaps compared to other funding schemes, the ERC, we try to limit the bureaucracy because you know, when it comes to applications and also reporting, we want scientists to do great science. That's the that's the point. But you're absolutely right. It is a big uh, it is a big piece of work to put together a funding proposal, and I think you also have to be quite determined and quite resilient because very often people they're not successful the first time around. You know, uh, typically the success rate for our calls is around 12 percent, more or less. Uh, so, you know, and many of the people who don't get through, uh, you know, have great ideas. It's very frustrating for us because we would like to be able to support more. So, yeah, it, it, it is an investment of time and energy and emotion um, and it doesn't always work. But uh, I, I guess my message would be if, if you have a great idea, um, you know, believe in yourself and, uh, and, and go for it. Don't frustrate before starting, eh? give it a try, because when it works, it's really, really life-changing. I've seen researchers really glad to get one of those grants. And, and my last question might be, uh, are you seeking excellence or you are trying to produce excellence within the European system? So you're really looking for people that already has a very established career, but there are different kinds of ERC grants. Mm. No? You're trying to nurture all this growth process of a researcher. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, excellence doesn't mean uh, seniority. We're not, in fact, two thirds of our grants go to younger uh, researchers. So, um, you know, people shouldn't think that it's just for the, the senior um, academics. Um, it, we also very, are very happy to support younger uh, researchers. Um, so really it's about the, the excellence of the ideas. You know, it should be, uh, people should be able to demonstrate that it's something that's going to really push the boundaries of knowledge in any particular domain that they're taking risks, that there are potentially rewards. It may change, shake things up, you know, uh, how th science is done in a particular domain. There may be interdisciplinary collaborations involved. Those are all the kinds of things. But basically our panel members 
are asked only to look for that evidence of excellence. They aren't asked to see whether there will be absolutely impacts or, you know, it's just the potential. And then, you know, if it works out, great. And if it doesn't, then that's also fine because you have to, you know, allow people to, to try things out in order to make progress. And it's not only about the research, we need to communicate that research and bring it out outside the lab. And that's yeah. part of our everyday job, something we, we enjoy. Maybe uh, one last message for those researchers that got an ERC. Should they be communicating more? Are we doing it uh, strongly enough? Yeah. Well, I mean, we love to work with our researchers on communication and some of them are fantastic communicators. Some of them are a bit more shy, but would be willing to do it if we give them some help or people like you in the host institutions give them some help. And others, they would really much prefer to stay in their labs uh, and do their research and that's also fine. Um, but, you know, if researchers are willing to get out there and engage with the public, that's great and it's something that we try to support. We have a public engagement award, we're looking at working with science journalists to bring them into contact more with researchers, a number of things. So um, yeah, it's great also cooperating with uh, you and, and, and people like you in, in uh, universities and research institutes. Excellent society, which is what we have, deserves to know about excellent research that is being funded uh, from Europe. Uh, so thank you very much for your time and Pleasure. let's keep on doing our best to yeah. let our researchers shine in the research. Thank you, Tony. Thanks, Alex. Great talking to you. I'm Tony Lockett. I'm Communication Manager at the European Research Council and I'm here at ICN2 to learn something about the fantastic research that's going on here, including some uh, ERC grantees based here. But also I have a message um, that I'd like to convey to all of you who are watching this video and subscribing to the channel that we have um, some really interesting funding opportunities through ERC grants that you might want to look into. And also we're trying to work very much with researchers across Europe to connect science and society uh, and try to support researchers in their public engagement and science communication work.